should feel a standard Dodge Viper or the more track ready Viper TA just isn't enough car for them, there's the new Viper ACR, which stands for American Club Racer. And while the most hardcore Viper of them all makes use of the same 645 horsepower V10 and six speed manual transmission found in the original model, no, you cannot buy a Viper without a third pedal, the ACR features a number of aerodynamic and handling upgrades. Handling gear consists of 10-way adjustable Bilstein coilovers, carbon ceramic brakes at all four corners, including 14.4-inch rotors out front, and special Kumho Extra tires designed exclusively for this car. Yes, the carbon fiber aero bits like the removable front splitter, underbody diffusers, canards, and X-wing rear spoiler are pretty much the antithesis of subtlety. They do serve a purpose, which is a whopping 1,200 pounds of downforce at 150 miles an hour. Being honest, as much fun as it is to take on winding mountain roads, driving the Viper ACR on crowded public roads makes you look and feel like a complete idiot. Which is why we're at the ACR's other natural habitat, the racetrack. The first being a gas station. First things first, like all Vipers, the ACR comes fitted with a five mode trash control system, so there is a little bit of a safety net. One of the first things you notice as you enter the track, besides the noise of course, is that the tires reach their operating temperature in a manner of corners. I think we've done about four or five corners so far and yeah, the front end's already sticking. When it comes to braking, the carbon ceramic setup is so powerful that when you threshold brake the vehicle, you essentially have to hold yourself up by pushing against the steering wheel. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the steering. Point, turn, and it goes exactly where you want it to. And if you're already dropping upwards of $120,000 on the car, an extra $6,000 or so, for experienced drivers only, will lend you the Extreme Aero Package, which really makes this car different than the original Viper, and then as you exit a corner, the vehicle no longer has to be pointed perfectly straight before you get on the gas. A lot of that is owed to the 335 width rear tires as well. At the end of the day, it takes an extremely capable driver to take full advantage of a Viper ACR. So when you think about it, the Viper ACR is one of those hyper track cars that doesn't even really need to exist. But you're really glad it does.